hi youtube welcome to or back to my channel today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the little cropped crochet vest that i made it's pretty easy very beginner friendly it's very easy it's just a, it's just three squares it's really easy it works out pretty quick since it is the granny stitch so yeah that's really it let's get into the video so the materials you'll need for this project are some yarn i'm using yarn bees soft secret yarn in the color blushed or buffed blush and then it has six ounces 170 grams 300 yards and 275 meters and it is 100 acrylic yarn i definitely recommend using a cotton yarn for this pattern unless um you're gonna steam it because then it'll be like it'll shrink and it'll be um really stiff so i recommend using a cotton yarn but this yarn is super thin so i think it'll be okay for this project but i'm still gonna steam it just in case so optionally you'll also need a steamer because that'll definitely help if you're using acrylic yarn then I'm using my 4.25 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, and a darning needle. So to start with this project, we're gonna start by making the back panel. And for that, you're just gonna chain a number that is a multiple of four and that stretches across your torso. I chained 52, which worked out perfectly for me. Now you're going to hold on to that uh, chain you just made and you're going to chain six more. And then you're going to make a double crochet into the seventh chain from the hook, which is where we were holding. And then you'll make two more double crochets into that stitch. So double crochets, wrap around, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. And we're going to make three in total. like so so once you once you've done that you're gonna chain one skip three stitches so here's one two three and into the fourth you're gonna work three more double crochets then chain one skip three Go into the fourth with three double crochets and you're gonna work this all the way down your foundation chain so skip three chains work three double crochets into the fourth okay so i made it to the end of my row and i have you should end off with three stitches but i must have counted my uh initial chain wrong but you should have three stitches left in your round and what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip two stitches and go chain one skip two stitches go into the third but since I counted wrong and only have two, I'm just going to go into the second. It's not a big deal. And then you're going to work only one double crochet into that stitch. And this is what it looks like right now. And as you keep adding more rows, uh, it starts to like work fast. Because working into the chain just always takes a little while. But once you keep going, it goes faster. So now we're going to chain three. Turn your work. And then we're going to work two double crochets into this gap right here because the chain is going to count as one double crochet so then it, in total it's three like so chain one and then into the next gap work three double crochets and we're just continuing this chain one work three double crochets into the gaps pattern all the way down till we reach the end of our row so i made it to the end of the row and uh into the like at the end what you're gonna do is chain one and then you're gonna work into this gap that we made at the beginning and we're gonna work three double crochets into there and then the third double crochet that we work we're gonna work it into the third chain so you're gonna count one two three chains and then into that third chain you'll work your double crochet this just makes your edges a lot straighter and neater and it should look like this. And we're just gonna keep continuing this pattern over and over and over again um, until we get however tall we want our top to be. So I'm gonna chain four. At the end of at the end of the rows where we work here, we're gonna chain four, and then we're going to work a double chain to the gap. And then over on this side is where we chain three. So I'm just gonna work three double crochets into this gap. Chain one, work to the next gap. But yeah, you're just gonna keep doing this 
until you get the length that you want i'll definitely tell you guys how many i end up doing and this is just going to be how long you want your top to be like how cropped you want it i'm gonna make mine a little longer than i made my white one just because i didn't really like how short my white one was so i'm gonna make this one a little bit longer while i have y'all here let's do a little story time I want to film videos like I can talk all day this is how much I ended up going with I did I did 29 rows I should have did 30 just to get an even number but I did 29 rows and this is how long it is but now we're gonna start working on the side panels which is the exact same thing just half of what we chained and you should have changed an even number so it should work out perfectly so however many you chain at the beginning you're gonna divide that by two and that's how much you're gonna chain for the side panels i chained 50 what did i chain 52 so that's what 26 i'm gonna chain 26 for my side panels but you do whatever you gotta do so for me that's 26 so i'm gonna chain my 26 right now 24 25 26 and then we're going to hold on to that last chain, chain six more. And then work our three double crochets into that stitch. Chain one, skip three, work it to the fourth with three double crochets. And we're just gonna keep doing the exact same pattern we just did, but on our new panel so yeah once you finish this panel you're going to make the exact same thing so chain half of your initial count do the same thing and then we'll work on the sleeves and edging and all that stuff so yeah i'll be back when i'm finished okay so i ended up running out of yarn so i had to go pick up some more but i finished my two panels and you're not gonna wanna cut off yet because we're gonna use it to connect to the big panel. Make sure that your, um, your panel is on the right side so your granny stitches are going upwards. And then we're gonna connect right here, the small panel with the large panel across here. And I'm gonna connect with slip stitches. You can connect with the darning needle if you want or single crochets, whatever method you find easiest, but I'm gonna use slip stitches. So you're gonna start off by chaining one and then I'm just gonna match up everything and start connecting. And it doesn't have to connect perfectly, just close enough. So I connect with slip stitches like so. And just take your time with this so that it looks nice and neat. Okay, so I made it to the end of my short panel and I'm not going to cut off my yarn. I'm just going to go right in with the second panel and continue where I left off. Okay, I finished connecting so now I'm gonna chain one and cut off my yarn and this is how it looks so far basically this is gonna go well that's the wrong side this is the right side but this is what's gonna go over your shoulders and then your head will go in between here now we're gonna work on stitching together these side panels but leaving an armhole big enough for your arm to fit comfortably so we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna attach my yarn with a slip knot. I mean with a double knot. Pull up a loop, chain one, and then I'm just gonna keep doing my slip stitches all the way across the side panels. And make sure you're, you're on the wrong side. I was on the side I wasn't supposed to be on. Make sure that you're on the side that has these stitches sticking out. And I'm just going in random stitches. It doesn't have to be 
perfect. Just kind of fit your hook wherever it can go. Okay, so I did, I slip stitched until uh, the hole was large enough for my arms and now I'm gonna work around to create my sleeves. And to do that, you're gonna continue where you left off your slip stitch and chain three. And now in every one of these gaps is where we're gonna work our granny stitch. So let me slip stitch up a little bit more so that I can be in front of a gap or be behind a gap. Chain three, and then I'm going to work two double crochets into the gap. Chain one, work three double crochets into the next gap. Chain one, three double crochets into the next gap, and I'm just going to keep continuing this pattern around and around and around and around until my sleeve is the length that I want. And if you want your sleeve to be long sleeve, you can just continue adding rows. But yeah. Okay, so I made it back around and you're just gonna chain one and then do a slip stitch into the third chain that we chained, that we made, chain three, turn your work and then work two double crochets into that gap right in front of where we chained or where we slip stitched and so yeah we're just going to keep working and every time we get to the end of our row slip stitch into the third chain turn our work and continue so in total i did three rows for my sleeves and now we're going to line our sleeves with uh, single crochets so chain one turn your work and then in the gap, I'm going to work one single crochet and then three into the double crochets. And then one into the gap, three into the clusters. And I'm just going to work my single crochets all the way around and then we'll chain one and cut our yarn. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and I'm gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Chain one, cut my yarn. And then I'm gonna repeat this entire sleeve process over on the other side. So we're gonna slip stitch up the panels, make our sleeve hole, and then work in rounds to make our sleeve. I think my mic cut out when I was talking, but um, basically I just connected at the bottom corner of the top and I'm going to work single crochets all the way from here. I'm going to go around the bottom, come to the other side, go up, come up, and then come back down and meet back at the bottom corner. And at the bottom, I'm doing three single crochets into the gaps. one into the cluster. For the ties that are that go around the top, you can make as many as you want. Um, I chain 80 for them, and I'm gonna show you guys how to put them on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you guys uh, made this tag me so I can see comment down below what you guys want to see from me next <laughs>